planning your yoga teacher training curriculum can be really, really exciting and also really overwhelming and also kind of daunting. And I was thinking about Aruna, do you remember being at my house, trying to lay out the curriculum and the cat walked in the room and we were both like, no, no, don't stop the cat. I know I have, I have the picture here. Let me show it. This is the kind of flip chart papers we used and all our post-it note system that we're going to show everybody today of how we planned out our curriculum. And why the cat was not allowed in the room. Are you ready to become a yoga trainer? Welcome to the Yoga Trainer Fast Track. We help experienced yoga teachers become trainers in their very own yoga teacher training school. If you wish it was easier to have your own training, we share tips and tutorials to make your wish come true. If you're an experienced yoga teacher, like and subscribe to get free resources so we keep making more videos. With that being said, let's get started. So what ended up happening was we knew, Arun and I knew when we wanted to offer a yoga teacher training, we wanted to plan a curriculum that we were going to use the 200 hour method. This is a method that Yoga Alliance actually standardized. Love it or hate it, we work with people who want to register yoga school with Yoga Alliance and we work with people who do not, your preference, but 200 hours is generally the standard. So my first tip for how to plan your training is figure out the duration, how long is it going to be? And then with that in mind, think about everything that you know about yoga and how do you compartmentalize that and categorize that into only 200 hours. It sounds like a long time at the beginning, but it's a lot of information to cover in what becomes a short amount of time. So essentially we figured out we were going to have a 200 hour training and we were going to work backwards from there. At the time, Yoga Alliance had five educational categories. They've actually streamlined their system a little bit now. So again, whether you use Yoga Alliance or not, I highly recommend going onto their website and seeing the page where they reference their 200 hour core curriculum. From there, you're gonna see four, what they call educational categories. And those categories are divided up into time. So you'll see you need 75 hours in the techniques, training and practice, educational category, and the duration goes so on and so on for the different categories. Um, and then within that, there's all of these core competencies. So us being a little bit creative in nature, tried to figure out, you know, how are we going to plan this training? And that's where that image came from. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we, we hit these core competent competencies. So let's say you look under techniques, training and practice. There's four under asana. There's for five under pranayama and subtle body and then there's another four under meditation so that's 13 topics you need to cover and so what we did was uh we use a post-it note system so we we took the category like techniques training and practice and we assigned that to our green post-it notes and then for every green post-it notes we made sure we had at least 13 core, core competencies. And right. then the 13 core competencies have to equal 75 hours. So obviously the minimum Yoga Alliance requires is 30, 30 minutes in each core competency, but obviously you're gonna need more. So in something like, you know, poses with specific <laughs> image, you're gonna have more than 30 minutes. You're probably gonna have like 30 hours potentially. So what we did was for each hour, like let's say we were doing Cobra pose, we would have a green post-it note for Cobra pose. And we talk about how long we're gonna spend on Cobra pose. And we would start to break down our categories using all these post-it notes. And till we covered all the, the 185 hours. So if you know 75, 30, 30 and 50 hours they only add up to 185 and then there's an extra 15 that you get to decide which category they go into based on your school's focus. So some people might be more anatomy focused. They might put those 15 hours in anatomy. Others might be more philosophy focused and they might put them in yoga humanities or you could spread them out evenly. It's up to you. I'm going um, back and forth quite a bit. Those post notes were great because we, once they were color coded, we could, 
kind of move them around a little bit and we could see how our numbers were adding up in terms of how much time. I know, gosh, we were under in some categories and way over in other categories, so we had to get a little creative. Could this fit under another category if we reflect on it, maybe? You have to get a little creative. So the post notes are great because they're they're movable at first. Yeah, and they helped us kind of like, you see this picture, like I, I we must have used orange for techniques training and we see we, we've got all the categories and topics we want to cover. And then what that did is when it came to delivering the program, we had decided like, there's no way we're gonna deliver. Okay, class, let's do 75 hours of techniques training. Like you can't deliver it just following one after the other because that's not how people learn. Right, and, and you wanna integrate all of these different categories. And we actually know from studies that people learn through experience, through repetitions. You wanna revisit certain topics over and over again through your training, and then through reflection and through um, practicum. So to just lecture at somebody for 75 hours is not an effective teaching skill. And we did a lot of research on how to deliver this training. Um, so what's great about the post is when it came to writing the manual, writing the syllabus, and more so delivering a training that your students are gonna love, take a little bit from each colored post-it note. So you've got a technique, you've got a methodology from another category, you've got a insight of wisdom, the philosophy that layers onto the technique and the teaching methodology and the yoga humanities. And that way, the training, I just find it really evolved and students really love learning that way while you integrate mm -hmm. these different methods. Yeah, so what what we did was these this C1 stands for class one, class two. We started laying out our student experience. So we had this, let me see if I can change that here. So we had this one with all our categories. This helped us write our manual. And then this one where we laid out the student experience, that helped us work out the delivery of the program. So we really were covered on all aspects until we got to this one. <laughs> this was all the different classes all laid out. And that's what we, we, there was one moment where we were standing in the room and we had all the post-it notes on the wall, on the ceiling, on the couch, on the table, on the floor. And Claire was like, remember that movie, A Beautiful Mind? We're in it. This is us. It got a little, I mean, it was beautiful, but it was a little overwhelming and nobody else was allowed in the room. And those flip charts came with us when we prepared at your house and when we prepared at my house because this went on for years of planning. Um, every time we met, the flip charts would come with us. Like I said, the cat at one point tried to run into the room and across the papers and move the post-it notes and yoga teachers, we lost it. That was a really well-placed post-it notes. Breathe, calm down. Nice kitty. <laughs> but so, and we went well, we through it twice. We went through it under the old standards and then under the new standards. So affiliates didn't. That that got system. New <laughs> pardon me. I said, but our affiliates didn't. They just got a new curriculum when everything was up level. We went through it twice. So working with us and using the trainer fast track has several advantages, including when Yoga Alliance makes up updates. You just have to wait for them. We'll do them. But we do understand people want to write their own manuals. And that's fair. And this is the process that we used. And it was it was fun and it was colorful. Uh, I suppose you could do it on an Excel spreadsheet or a, a table, perhaps in Word, if your mind thinks differently than eventually, our Yeah, eventually we moved it onto an Excel spreadsheet. But when we weren't sure where everything would fit, it was like a playing Tetris. You yeah. know, everything had to fit together. And if you want to see how it looks fit, fit together. We do have some previews of our manual there in our course at ambassadoryoga.com. Look under yoga trainer fast track and that will take you to our course and you can look at how our manuals turned out. Um, so if you're trying to write it on your own, good luck. And if you're, if you just want to teach the program and you want someone to hand you the manuals and have hand you everything already organized, then please connect with us 
at the yoga trainer fast track and we can take a lot of work off your plate.